Hello students, let us learn theorem of geometric mean from standard 10th maths part 2. Before we know what is the theorem of geometric mean, first of all we must know the concept of geometric mean. So let us understand that firstly. Suppose there are three numbers a, b and c given in which if it is given that b square is equal to a into c that is the middle term square is equal to product of remaining two terms then in this case we say that b is the geometric mean of a and c. So we have to use this principle in a right angle triangle in which we have to prove the theorem of geometric mean. So let us have the theorem of geometric mean. The statement is in a right angle triangle the perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse from opposite vertex is the geometric mean of the segments into which the hypotenuse is divided. So to understand this we must have a diagram. Consider triangle PQR which is a right angle triangle given where angle Q is a right angle. In this triangle we have to prove that a perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse. So in this diagram the perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse is QS as QS is perpendicular to PR is the geometric mean of the segments into which the hypotenuse is divided. So we have to prove that QS is the geometric mean of segments PS and segment SR as QS divides hypotenuse into these two segments. That's why we have to prove that QS is the geometric mean of PS and SR. For this one, it is given that in a right angle triangle PQR, QS is perpendicular to hypotenuse PR. So as QS is a perpendicular to hypotenuse PR, we have the property of similarity of right angles. That is, if in a right angle triangle, a perpendicular drawn to the hypotenuse from opposite vertex, we got three triangles. Those three triangles are similar to each other. So by that we have triangle QSR is similar to triangle PSQ. So these two triangles are similar for this given correspondence that is PSQ is similar to triangle QSR. So to remember this one we have to start with P from, from P to S and then S to Q so as to get a triangle PSQ and again we have to start with Q to S that is Q S and from S to R to get the second triangle Q S R. So here triangle P S Q and triangle Q S R these are the two triangles we have to take by the similarity of right angles these two triangles are similar. So we have to remember these two triangles for this given correspondence. So if these two triangles are similar then we have the property of sides of similar triangles that is sides of similar triangles are in proportion. So if we take the side QS its corresponding side is PS. So we have QS divided by PS is equal to SR its corresponding side is SQ that is equal to SR divided by SQ. So we can rearrange these terms as QS divided by PS is equal to SR divided by QS. Now if we cross multiply we get QS into QS that is QS square is equal to PS into SR. So what does this suggest that is QS square is equal to PS into SR that means the square of QS is equal to product of PS and SR that is QS is the geometric mean of PS and SR that is we wanted to prove segment QS is the geometric mean of segment PS and segment SR. So this is the geometric mean theorem.